everybody. This is uh, this is Don't Starve Together that we were playing before. My name's CJ. I'm recording for Panda and possibly for anybody else who's watching. Now, the only ones I can confirm watching are myself. And so we did a poll to see what people would like to see recorded. And according to the poll of one, me, the only one who really mattered, uh, we wanted to see some more Don't Starve Together. So here we are. You know, yeah, victory for democracy, am I right? Yeah. So we're going to just play a little bit more, see about building a base, maybe. And uh, just see how, how things go, see how long we can survive. Might be one day, you know, might do something horrible and die in half an hour or might make it 20 days. Who knows? There's no real way of knowing. But we're going to see how far we can get. We should have a nice little space to start uh, building a nice base around. Our character is going a little insane, but that's okay. And we took care of the bee problem, so I mean, at least we got that going for us. Now you can see we're starting to get a little bit hungry. And our character is also starting to get a little insane. But the one really good... There are a couple of really good upshots for my particular character right here. One of which is that by, uh, by pla I can plant stuff, including using the seeds, to uh, start growing a garden immediately. Usually in this game, you can only uh, grow food at these uh, special flower beds that are a real pain in the ass to build. But uh, I, can, I can literally just plant stuff down and have it start growing and stuff, which is awesome. But yeah, usually, uh, usually it's a lot trickier than that, so... Yay. I, I just want to get out of here so I can get away from this constant bee humming sound, am I right? But uh, yeah, every time you leap into these things, you lose a little bit of sanity. But it could be worse. So, anyway, what we're going to try and do is build a... Uh, we need some gold. We need to get a little bit of stone, gold, stuff like that. And we're going to try and build a science machine. Now, what the science machine allows us to do is to science, obviously. But what that means is uh, being able to build some more important stuff towards our own survival. Currently, what we can build by ourselves is rather limited. For example, in tools, I can make an axe, a pickaxe, and a hammer. But you can see these things, they're locked, like shovel. I can dig up stuff, which is very useful. But you need a science machine to build the first one. Once, once you've built one shovel with the science machine, then you can build a shovel anywhere as long as you have the materials. But the very first one, you have to build at the science machine. And I know has science, so I must build a science machine. And the one downside to that is that the science machine takes gold. And I don't have any gold, as far as I know. I have some common rocks, but I don't have any gold. Shut up, you stupid rabbit. Alright, now... We circled around here, and there's some regular rocks, and sometimes they drop gold, but mostly we need to find rocks that have gold on them. So I think we're going to try up here near the uh, near the portal where we came in and going left. I could say west, but I get east and west mixed up all, all the time, so I'm just going to say left on the map is where we're going to go. So that's the current plan. All the while, picking up what we can. Food, seeds, stuff like that. The frogs are kind of annoying because they're passive most of the time, but sometimes they're they're kind of uh, defending of their territory. And that can get you killed. Now my character, he, uh, he can regain health not by food. Like, normally most of the characters can eat and heal. I cannot heal by eating. But I can increase my sanity very easily by planting plants and stuff. So, I have a little bit of an edge in that regard. But it also means that if I want to heal, I need to make healing items. And that can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes. There are a lot of pluses to each and every character. You can play uh, multiple different characters in, the, in this type of game. So fi find out which one works for you. Like there's uh, there's one that's basically a Valkyrie. She she really kicks ass, like very well. She has like a special hat and spear and everything like that. But she can only eat meat, which means that if you don't find something, kill it and eat its meat, 
she will starve. She she cannot eat berries or any of the uh, any of the more plentiful and free stuff that's around. On the other hand, she's probably two or three times stronger than any one other character in one-on-one -on -one combat. So each of the characters, there's tons of characters. A few. This one was uh, this one cost me honestly like a few bucks, like five ninety-nine for downloading this character. But I have him, and I get to keep him and play as him, so it's not an unbelievably bad deal. I'm not, like, renting this guy. Ooh, an official road. Where does this go? Obviously, you can move faster on the roads. Very nice, very nice. I want that flint. Now I'm looking for... Well, first, I'm looking for anything useful. You know, it's always good to just fill out the map a little bit and have an idea of what's... Yeah. Oh, great. Pig people and, uh... Mermen. They don't get along. The pig people are skittish, but you can kind of befriend them. Shit, shit, shit. They're after me. Crap, crap, crap. But seriously, the, uh, the mermen, they suck. And I hate them. I wanted to grab some mushrooms, but honestly, these mermen will kill me if they get their hands on me. They will... They will beat me like I owe them money. I'm totally serious. During the evening, the green mushrooms are growing, which is pretty sweet. Now, there are three different mushrooms. Blue, green, and red. And depending on what mushroom it is and how you prepare it, they will hurt you or harm you. Blue mushrooms, you want to eat raw. Green mushrooms, uh, and they'll, they'll help you. The green mushrooms, you want to cook. And that will help you. This is exactly what we were looking for. And red mushrooms are basically food as a bait for other creatures. Do not eat the red mushrooms. Cooked or raw, they will do nothing good for you. Now this is what we were looking for. This boulder, you can see the little bits of yellow in it. That means there's gold in that rock. And that's exactly what we were looking for. We were looking for gold. Honestly, total, we want about seven gold minimum. Because there's the science machine, and then there's the upgraded science machine called the alchemy machine, I think it is. This is the science machine. It's like a weird mechanical scarecrow thing. And then there's the alchemy engine, which does even more powerful science. But uh, that requires a lot of gold, like four gold. Like it, it, is, it is a heavy investment. So we're going to... Uh, Get as much gold as we can, and by that I mean around seven or so. You know, a reasonable a reasonable amount of gold. And uh, then we are going to build the science machine and an alchemy machine. Boom! And there we go, one gold nugget. Awesomeness. Now the main reason I want the science machine is because of one of the very first things you might have literally just noticed is that our inventory is now full. Inventory is now packed. In fact, actually, where's where's my torch? Uh, I, I don't need that, but I might need it someday, so I'm just going to leave it here. In case I'm ever passing by and desperately need a very short using torch. Don't pick it up, goddammit, I just put that down. Anyway, so we're going to get, we want about seven gold or so. It's tempting to just, like, mine everything that you see, everything that you can, but then if you die and lose it or can't get it, that's bad. So, uh, over-harvesting over of materials can be a real detriment. I, I know that, like, my, you know, I know the whole world could not possibly understand the concept that resources are limited, but it's true, and it will bite you in the ass someday. I mean, certainly not for my country, America, but, I mean, who knows? Probably some other country would have that problem, not mine. No, 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 no. I'm sure we have a plan of some sort. Birds, if you scare them, they'll, uh... And sometimes if you don't scare them, we'll drop seeds and stuff. That's always pretty good. Uh, we got a fair amount of rocks. Let's see if we can get, like, one more pile of rocks. Just a little bit of stone. There are certain things that, uh, require a huge amount of stone. Like, a really big amount of stone. So it's always good to have a little bit of stone extra on you. Oh, what is this? Oh, you hear that? Yeah, that that horse thing over there. Those are f fucking assholes. I hate them. They're they're mean and they attack you. 
And I do not care for that. Nope, not one bit. Where the hell am I? Alright, this way. Da -da 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 -da. Here's the butterflies. Now in the game, sanity is usually a serious problem for people. If I pick flowers or cut down trees, I lose sanity because they're my homeboys. They're my homies. But other people will lose sanity and they'll start to see, yeah, that thing. That, those little shadow creatures will start coming out at the edge of your mind. Which is not good. So, they will gather, uh, you'll gather flowers and you'll make a wreath. A flower wreath, and that'll help you regain a little bit of your sanity. Hello, pigmen. If you give the pigmen food, like if you uh, if you come up with one of your carrots selected and select give, uh, the pigmen, if they don't fear you, will come up and usually follow you around and help you out a little bit as a friend, which is pretty sweet. Uh, most of the characters they're pretty friendly with me. I'm I'm a bit of an oddity, so they have a mild fear of my character, which which is Totally unjustifiable. I, I'm... Who would not love this face? Really. I, I'm so adorbs. I'm super adorbs right now. I can barely contain it. But still, somehow, certain people fear me. Which is very sad. But you know what happens, you know? People, people fear greatness, and they just have to learn to deal with it. Anyway, I got some gold now. I'm gonna go back to where my base was. Now, you might be wondering why I'm making my base over there. One of the reasons is because I want to try... Oh, there's some seeds over there. I saw it. One of the reasons is because, uh, you know, I want to try that the portal trick to see. Because every, every couple of days... Get away from my seeds, goddammit! Fuck away, get away! Stupid birds. I hate the birds. Birds are terrible in, in game and in real life. Like, seriously, fuck birds. But, uh... Anyway, th having the portal nearby is usually one of the things when uh, when you're playing, you'll want to have play with friends. And when one of you dies, you usually have to float as a ghost back to the portal to uh, to reanimate. Now, I don't really get to do that because I'm by myself, which means as soon as I die, that that's it, game over. And it tells me, you know, all right, you made it three days, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, God damn, go away, go away. There, I hate that thing. There's... There's this little turkey that pops out of berry bushes, and he eats all the berries off of the bushes, and leaves none for you. He's, he's, he's a vindictive little shit, and I hate him. But they're so hard to kill. They're very spry. They're, they're very athletic for a fat bird. You know? That, that just goes to show you, you know, don't trust birds. They're, every one of them is out to get you. Alright, here we are. There's still a... Still a few bees around, but there's nothing I can really do about that, but, you know, whatever. Alrighty. Uh, you can see my vision is starting to blur. Starting to get a little bit weird around here. That is because I'm slightly going insane. So I need to plant a few items, and you can see a little green ring appearing around the brain symbol, which means I'm starting to get a little bit of my sanity back planting these seeds. There we go. All right, now, now I'm doing much better. All right, and uh, these look burnt. Burnt trees, uh, if you use them, will get you coal, which is pretty good. Anyway, here we are. It's very nice, very nice base. So first, we're going to want wood. Okay, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, chop down some trees. You want to go for bigger trees? Uh, you'll get more wood, and they'll usually drop pine cones, which you can plant for more trees. Uh, full inventory. It's a curse. But yeah, the pine cones can be planted to get more trees back and regrow and everything, which is very helpful. So, yeah, again, re regrowing your resources. Very important. All right, there's some logs. Excellent, excellent. And it won't let me pick them up again. Okay, this is getting really irritating. All right. And, uh... Oh, thank you for growing larger just for me to cut down. That's very nice of you, Tree. Thank you. No, I don't want to. I don't want to pick up the log. I want to pick up the pine cones. There we go. Now I lose a bit of sanity every time I 
chop down a tree, or if I set trees on fire and am near them in proximity, I will, uh, oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay, uh, drop that and make a torch. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, thank goodness. If I just made the torch when inventory is full, he'll drop it on the ground like a dumbass, and in the darkness, shadows will come out and attack you. And it's horrifying. It's very scary the first time this kind of thing happens. Surviving the night is the trick. Not not just like food and whatnot, which is very important. But surviving the night is unbelievably tricky in some in some cases. Like he uh, he had full inventory, so the torch would have dropped on the ground, that sort of thing. But uh, I, I need logs in order to build the science machine. And I need to build uh, a permanent fire pit. I mean, I've been using torches up to now, you might have noticed, and you can build a temporary campfire, but we want to set up a base, and that means an actual fire pit that we can use. That's what we're going for. So as soon as this torch burns out, you know what, now I'm just going to drop it from here. Yeah. Grab that, grab my logs. Now usually... When you're playing, you want to play, play to each other's uh, multiple characters, their strengths. For example, I can plant stuff, which is incredibly useful, you know, taking care of the food situation. But since I can't hack trees very easily, having someone uh, hack down trees and give me wood is incredible. And... Voila! Excellent. We have a permanent fire. And at a fireplace, you can actually cook stuff, which is wonderful. Alright, so we got that. We got that out of the way. Excellent. Well, let me pick up any more flint. I must be full on flint. So this is going to be our base area. So let's see. Science machine. Yes, it takes one gold, some wood, and some stone. And here we are. A science machine. Boom! There we go. We are so full of science up in here. Now, when you're standing in proximity to the science machine, you can then build stuff that you could not before. Like, now you can see the... Uh, there was the axe and everything like that, but I have the option of making gold axe, things like that. But I can now build a shovel if I had a little bit of uh, a little bit of rock with me. I'm guessing I dropped my flint. Yeah, that was my pile of 24 flint. Flint is necessary. Never, never toss your flint. Okay, I'm uh, I'm tired of the bees. The bees, the bees are irking me now. So I need a combat item, and I need a spear for that. But I don't have any rope. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to clear out a little bit for what I'm gonna do. First things first is I'm tired of having full inventory. That is incredibly annoying. I'm gonna drop the beefalo wool for a tiny, tiny bit. I would make a storage box, but that requires a lot of wood, and that's just not the cards at the moment. I'm gonna go down to this jewel symbol, and I'm gonna make a piece of rope. Which... And I'm going to plant this seed over here to, to use that up. Get a little bit of sanity back. Grab my little piece of rope. There we go. And now, over in, uh, let's see, survival. Yeah, this is a survival category. A lot of nice things in survival. And uh, one of the main things I'm looking for, backpack. Whoosh! There we go. It's taking up an armor slot, but check this out. I look super spiffy in my little backpack. And it gave me, let's see, it looks like eight spaces for carrying more stuff. That is wonderful. I can carry eight more things now. This is great. All right. Now, I want a spear. Spear is a very good weapon to have. Very good starting weapon. All right. We're going to take care of the bee infestation problem that we're having around here. You want a piece of me? You want a piece of me, little bee bastard? Yeah. I gave you guys a chance, but you wouldn't go away. Now it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Come on, show me what you got. That's right, what you got? You got nothing. Yeah. Any more of you little bee bastards around here? Buzzing up my base? This is all me up in here. Ow! Oh, you little bastard. 
Regular bees are pretty passive. You can, you can kill them without too much worry. Killer bees, however, they're bright red, and they will hunt your ass down. So, you know, be careful. Okay, oh they're... I, I hear it. I hear the gobbler. I hate the gobbler. I hate him so much. Okay, well, we took care of the bee problem, so we finally have a little bit of peace of mind here. You guys might be wondering about the rock and why I haven't destroyed that. The rock, if you destroy this, will lead to a cave where every evening, like right now, uh, bats will fly out and you will have to fight them, which is a pain in the ass. However, they will also attack pretty much anything. So if there was like a ton of stuff at the base, they would attack those as well. God damn it, you stupid bird. Those were my seeds. I will, I will get you all. I will murder every last one of you bird bastards. I swear to God. Okay, he left me an offering in peace, so he's okay. But the other bat, other birds, they they have it coming. I'm gonna get every last one of them. All right, we got a few berry bushes around here. That's always good. Now you might have noticed foraging is a big part of this game, and it is. You know, go, going around gathering stuff is very important. But one of the things to keep in mind is uh, that you know. You, you got to manage your time as well. Going around and going to each of these things to gather stuff. And I just got charcoal from the burnt down tree. It's how you get charcoal. Burn down a tree, get charcoal. Very straightforward. But uh, one of the things you might have noticed is that walking around gets you uh, gets a lot of time lost. You know, it's already evening. And I mean, what have I done today? I've I've killed some bees. That's pretty much about it. You know, I spent the whole day just killing bees and maybe doing a little bit of science. Science and bee killing. That's, that's about it. But it was worth it. You know, every single day you do a little bit and you build a foundation and you get, and you get stuff done. That's how it goes. Now, my character's starting to get a little bit hungry. Uh, I could use a little bit more wood. You gotta be careful when you, uh, when you chop down trees. If you chop down too many trees, there's a chance that one of them will, uh, turn into an ant, a giant walking tree, and he will beat your ass. And, uh, that's, that's just not a good time. It's, it's a bad time for, for everyone except for the ant, really. And you, you can do things to try and defeat them, to try and defeat the ant and, you know, defeat the, the giant walking tree. But I'm gonna be honest, with just one person... That is a challenge. It is not easy for one one person by themselves with without superior weaponry to take down a walk a giant walking tree. And I think there's a slim chance, like it's saying I could attack. I heard, I looked this up. Apparently the fire staff can shoot fireballs and sh set shit on fire. Like that annoying bird over there. I could totally set him on fire. But I'm not going to. No. Okay, that's better than nothing, but anyway. But I'm not going to because I love this I love this little staff thing here. Alright, let's see. Do I have a torch? Do I have a torch? I need a torch. Uh actually, you know what? Let's just go up here. And this and fertilize. Or no, don't fertilize. No, 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 no. Come on. I thought I was closer to the fire. You see how low my health is? I took a hit in the dark. And now I'm almost dead. It's horrifying. It's so scary. But yeah, add fuel. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Let's eat a little bit of honey. Make our character feel a little bit better. Now while you're at a fire, you can cook stuff. Including things like berries. Now my character is pretty badly hurt. You'll notice I'm uh, I'm actually pretty badly hurt because of the stupid thing that just happened at night. Yeah, that uh, that was stupid of me, and it almost got me killed. But that happens, you know. You gotta roll with the punches. All right, and you'll notice my sanity is a little low. But unlike other characters, other characters have a really hard time usually restoring sanity. I can just plant trees. I can literally just plant trees and get some of my sanity back. That is a very, very good trick to have. Now, my character can make a few items to heal himself. I need spoilage. 
I don't have anything spoiled out here. Which is not good, so I can't really do that. Now, there are a few other things that I can do to heal myself. For example, if there's nothing around, I select Fertilize. I can smear fecal matter all over my body. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh. And that heals me a tiny bit. Most people can eat food and heal themselves. I cannot do that. I am a tree. It is, it's just not, it's not, a, it's not in the cards. I can't do it. Which is very sad. Let's see, can we build a storage unit? No, we need three planks. Okay, so... And it takes four wood for each plank. This, this is gonna be terrible. It's gonna be very costly. Alright, there we go. And now we need... Where, where's my axe? I know I have an axe somewhere around here. There we go. Alright, we need, we need at least three more wood to make one more plank to make a storage chest so that we can leave a few items at base and free up our inventory a little bit. That's, that's what we're all about right here. Alright. And we make another plank. Very nice. And then, under wood, we make a storage chest. Standard little chest. Excellent! There we go. Alright, let's see. Uh, bee stingers. The... Ash, probably don't need that. Let's see, uh, nitre. I don't know if I'll need that. Green caps, I'll make food. Ooh, berries! Uh, or seeds, seeds anyway. Yep. I still hear bees. There's a glitch sometimes where where if you remove beehives, you'll still hear bees. Or it could just be that bee over there. I could just be really stupid. Come here, Mr. Bee. Thank you. All right, well, I I took care of the initial buzzing problem, but I still hear bees every every once in a while. They're in my head. The bees are in my head. There's nothing I can do. All right, I think that's just about everything that I feel like storing right now. Yeah, maybe the gold, and I probably don't actually need the staff around with me all the time. And the beefalo wool. Beefalo wool is very important for winter. It's currently fall, so I don't really have to worry too much about that yet. But I need to keep it in mind. Let's see if I hear bees. Oh well. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit more wood around here. And uh, if we can get enough, we should be able to uh, build the alchemy machine, which is very good to have. Very good. And if I can, that'll pretty much be it as far as the fanciest of things that I could possibly build. The main thing I gotta watch out for right now is that my health is incredibly low. I'm one good hit, not like hit from just about anything, but like one good hit would kill me. And right now I need spoilage in order to make a healing item. And in order to get spoilage, you have to literally just let food spoil. I know it's it's a complicated bit of a uh, bit of sciencing there, you know, and an incredible leap in logic. I, I feel you, but it's I promise you it's true. So we're going to attempt to have the uh, the pile of berries that's in our inventory spoil right there. You can see we have 19 berries, and you can see there's a, like a green around it, all around all the foods and the perishable items, basically. That's them perishing, and I need them to perish so that they can spoil as fast as possible. And, uh, let's see, I'm starting to lose a little bit of sanity again. So let's, uh, let's plant a little bit more. The good thing about planting the seeds is, uh, like I said, I can they'll, they'll eventually grow into food. And food is very plentiful right now. One, because I cranked that up a little bit, just to make this a little bit easier. Also, I'm lazy and uh, and don't handle challenges very well. But that's not the point. That's, that's barely even a factor. That's only like maybe 10% of the reason why I made this as easy as possible for me. But the other reason is because I... You know, I want to survive for as long as possible and whatnot. But food is not very plentiful in winter, and I'm currently at fall. And I know the the, uh, the seasons do not last 30 days. I think, I think actually, I think the number may be 25. Something like that. So you gotta be... Oh, god damn. No, don't you dare eat those berries! Bastard. Alright. 
Anyway, so yeah, the uh, you need to stockpile food or have a means of getting food in winter. Otherwise, you're uh, you're, you're just gonna starve to death, like over and over and over. And uh, in order to survive, there's fishing. Uh, you can, if you can manage to get any meat from animals, you can from traps and whatnot. You can hang it on a drying rack to try and get a to dry it out and preserve it. So that it will last longer, that sort of thing. There's there's things you can do, and if you don't know it, you're uh, you're gonna die a lot of times, and you're gonna think back later on. You're gonna find something out and be like, "Well, if, shit! If I had known that," and yeah, that that's the general feel of this game. You're gonna die a whole lot, but every single time, you're gonna do a little bit better. That is it. Now this is very close tonight, so I really need to stick by the fire when it's this late. Uh, as far as the fire goes, I would recommend using manure since uh, wood works really well. But wood, you might have noticed, is a tad bit scarcer than uh, than the manure that I get free from the beefalo. I'm going to cook a little bit of uh, carrots and stuff over here at the fire. Some things are better eaten raw. Some things are better eaten cooked. You can even make a crock pot later on and make, like whole meals. Oh, crap. You hear that music? Yeah, that means the little shadowy hand thing is trying to walk on it, and you can scare it back in. I think that takes a little bit of sanity away, but he's trying... If he reaches out, he'll try and put out your... Wolfers! Shit, he said wolfers. That's that's not good. Wolfers is is this character's really cute and ador super adorable way of saying wolves are coming. That is not good. And I hear growling. I hear growling. Oh, everything about this is, is not good. I need day to hurry up. Come on. I need daylight. Daylight, please. As soon as daylight hits, I'm making a break for the portal. Okay, the greatest thing you can do when you're first encountering uh, wolves are coming. One is run, because there'll, there'll be like three to five of those things. And they will chase you down, and they will eat you, and they will kill you. So pretty much the best thing that you can hope for is to find beefalo and lure the wolves into them. Where are the goddamn beefalo? Where the fuck are you, beefalo? There they are. Okay, and it's not mating season, so I can get pretty close to them. If it was mating season, they'd have red butts, and they would attack you the second you got too close. All right, I can hear them. You hear that sound? That's the wolves. That's wolves coming. And over there's the spider nest. Alright. As soon as the wolves get here, my one goal... And, and the wolves will come from everywhere. I've had them burst out of the ocean. Like, they weren't like sea wolves or some shit. No, they were just wolves. There they are! Shit! Run, run, run! Okay, okay. We're trying to lure them in so that the beefalo will see them as a threat and attack them and defend us. That is our only hope. Come on, you guys. I need you to defend me. They're going to kill me if you do not help. There we go. Yes. Yes, kill them. Kill the wolves. Get them. Beat them down. All right. Go team. Good job. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. You're my absolute favorites, and I love you. And I want you to know that. I have nothing but respect for every last one of you. All right, well, there you go. That's how you handle the wolves. Uh, another thing that you can try with... Uh, usually, it's a little bit trickier, so your success will, uh, will drop if you've never tried it before. These are the spider nests. And uh, spiders, as soon as you walk onto their little webbing here, will come out and attack you. See? See, you entered his little territory, and he's being all mean and shit. Now, if you have a, if you have a weapon, and it's only one-on-one, -on -one, you can handle these guys. Just beat the crap out of them, and there you go. But when you kill one, if it's near the base, like, three more will come out. And they will come out, and they will fuck you up. But one at a time, one at a time, you don't really have to worry too much. Yeah, I'm right here, I'm right here, come on. Come on, you want a piece? Come on. 
See, there we go. His little buddy's coming out. But one at a time, there's not a lot they can do. Ooh, excellent spider bladder. Let's see if I can destroy this thing. Yes. And I got webbing. I know it says silk. It's a lot easier just to think of it as webbing. But there we go. You can see you can handle the spiders pretty well if you just if you just know their mechanics, if you know their movements. Not too bad. The uh, the spider gland can be made into a healing item, and the uh, the webbing can be used for all kinds of stuff. There's a huge number of things that you can use the webbing for. It's very important. You could make, uh, one of the main things you could use is that, uh, when you destroy, uh, when you actually, like, attack with the staff and destroy bee nests, you get a honeycomb. And, uh, with one honeycomb, and if you make a bug catcher out of the, out of the webbing, uh, you can capture four bees. And using four bees and a honeycomb, you can make a beehive that will give you honey. And honey is awesome because, one, it's food, and it preserves for a very long time. Ooh, look, some of our food has grown. This is wonderful. Uh, can I bring under food? Can I make a cooking thing? Nope, I need a little bit more charcoal and some stone. Okay, that's gonna be our uh, our last thing to try out for the day. You know what? I need more wood than I than I ever thought possible. So let's go to the little forest down here that we planted. See all these trees? Like they're, they're growing fast faster than normal. So don't get your hopes up too high. But, uh, we equip this, and we can light things. There we go. Don't worry, it's okay. They, they wanted to be on fire. I'm certain of it. There we go. Get away from my seeds! Alright, there we go. Now, while we have that going on, and, uh, I'm just gonna... Not drop that. No, not... Yeah. The, uh, there we go. Okay. So I need three more charcoal, and I need, uh, for the cooking pot there, it, it shows three cut stone right there. Now, three cut stone doesn't seem like much, but making one cut stone takes three regular stone. So it's taking nine stone to, to make this thing. And that's actually a pretty fair amount of stone when you get down to it. But, uh, yeah, anyway... Yeah, doing, doing what we do. The, uh, you can see over here, the berries are really starting to spoil, which is good. That's what we're going for. You don't have to open the chest to store stuff. If you're near it, you, near it, you can just hit the arrow and hit store, and he'll store it. Which is pretty good. Uh, sanity took a little bit of a hit. Monster meat is... Basically, it will it'll drive you insane if you eat it, pretty much. Uh, that's not nearly as much of a problem for me personally, because I can refill sanity pretty easily, honestly, by just planting stuff. I mean, there's, there's, there's no super, super challenge for my character, uh, as far as, san <coughs> as far as sanity goes. Let's see, do they, uh, do these finally, yep, they're done. All right. There's a little bit of coal on the ground there. Sounds like something is still burning down there to the south. Which happens sometimes, you know. You get a little overzealous when you're burning down the entire forest. That's not too bad. And uh, it's about to be night. I'm going to get back over here. And uh, I'm actually, I'm actually going to use some wood because... Uh, Certain healing items that I like uh, require fertilizer. And, uh, let's see. What is oh, we were making the cooking pot. That was right. Cooking pot, okay. There we go. And, uh, beef. Grab some, uh, some corn. I don't know why grabbing these particular plants don't make me super sad. But, you know, whatever. Alright, this... Oh. Gonna try it. The rain is gonna put a little bit of a damper on my fire. There we go. Alright, this is the crock pot. Now, there are all kinds of recipes that you can use for the crock pot, so. And uh, you can spread some of the bad stuff out and mix it in with good. So, I'm gonna put in a little bit of meat and some corn. And, uh, why not some berries? And a, uh, an eggplant. Yeah, yeah. There we go. 
and we hit B and cook. There we go. And it's going to make a super legit awesome meal. And we're going to cook the, uh, the green caps. If you eat them raw, I think they actually hurt your sanity. So, like I said, blue, raw, green, cooked, and never eat the red. Oh, I... You saw that, uh, that, that, oil, that yellow that came around the edges? That was an overheat symbol. I think I was literally standing in the fire. That's, uh, that's, that's not, that's not a good thing to do when you're a plant person. I, I promise. Go scare all the birds, get a few extra seeds. Excellent, excellent. And, uh, I can't, and there we go. What do we make? What is, what, what is that? What the hell is that? I made stuffed eggplant. Oh my god. It looks delicious. And we eat that. And there we go. Help filled in very nice. It was a good meal. We used one of the ingredients that would normally drive you insane. And we made a delicious meal out of it. So uh, we're going to call it here. We got the science machine. We got the cooker. We're starting to pick up. Things are going pretty good. And we survived one tiny... That was a very weak werewolf attack. Like... Oh, honestly, that was there's only like two of them. There can be like five, and there can be an ice wolf, a fire wolf. Give me the seeds, God damn it! God damn it, I hate these things. Right. Anyway, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you when I see you, and we'll see if we can survive a few more days, and uh, try to build something to heal ourselves because we're still flashing, we're still in the red. So I'll see you then, everybody. Bye bye.